Hey gang, welcome back. We're in the month of May and this month we're talking about confidence. That's living like you believe God is with you. And he is. He is with you every day, all the time. Here comes the so-and-so show and they're going to tell the story about how the disciples got the Holy Spirit. And I'll see you after. <laughs> All right. Brandon, do you have any more mayo? Hello everyone, I'm John. And I am very much Brandon. And this is the So It's So Show. The show where we... 
Well, what do we do here exactly? Can, can you sum it up in one word? Yeah, uh, tomfoolery. That's it. Yeah, that's not all we do here, though. We also occasionally bring on educated people to teach us a thing or two about something we have no idea about. Like today? <laughs> yeah, like today. It's time for Someone Who Knows Stuff. Hello! <laughs> ah, who's the boss of you? Uh, hello, come on in, have a seat, man. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we know who you are, yeah. but for those in our audience who are new, could you tell us who you are and what you know? Yeah. Guten Tag. My name is Hans Decibel. I am an audio engineer and soundscape savant. I am fascinated with the smorgish board of sounds that make up our world. I was recently contracted by a video game studio to gather potential sound effects for their new game they are calling Bird Village. Ooh, Bird Village. Yeah. What's the game about? It's about a bird that lives in a village. It's called Bird Village, Brandon. I think it's self-explanatory. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, so is that why you've got all the, uh, uh, what are these? Oh, cassette players? This is correct. For those who do not know, these are called cassette players. They play cassette tapes, huh. physical media. You can use these to record sounds onto the actual tape and play sounds directly off of the tape. No internet required. Ooh. For example, this cassette is called Bird Sounds of North America. Mm. Yeah. Ah. Peaceful. Mm. When people think of video game sounds, many think of these prehistoric beeps and bloops from their forefathers like uh, Gallica or Ooh. Mrs. Pac-Man, oh, but yeah. technology has advanced to the point where anything can be a video game sound. Okay, what's the most interesting sound that you've gathered? Well, name a thing. And I will see if I can play it for you. Oh, okay, all right, I like this. Uh, uh making a smoothie. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> Breakfast preparation. Mix number two. Yeah, okay, oh, pull that one out. Oh, it's on the B side. All right. There, there. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay, okay. How about this? Uh, what about uh, dropping a ball into a bowl of guacamole? Ooh. Oh, yes. Uh, Friday night football watch party mishaps number 13. <laughs> no kidding. Okay. Yeah, all right. Okay. Here, I can't here we go. And play. Oh, yeah. yes, yeah, yeah. yes, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, how about this one? Um, a bear trapped on a hot air balloon with a, a marching band and, and a team of mimes. No. Oh, the physics alone of this is impossible. Uh, uh, the basket on a hot air balloon is too small to fit a bear yeah. and a marching band and a group of mimes. And the physical danger of a bear to other humans is just, this is not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it does bring me to the point of why I've come here today. The climax of Bird Village features a surprise party. Now, normally I would just simply attend a surprise party, but the very definition of surprise party means I am unaware of them before they happen. Right, surprise. Yeah, surprise. Uh. So, I ask you, my friends, if you would be willing to help me by yelling surprise in various ways. I have tried to do this myself, but uh, the results thus far have been uninspiring. Surprise. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Hans, we would be happy to help you. Wunderbar. Yeah. Okay. One moment. Let me make sure I have the right tape in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is on the correct side. It's important. Mm -hmm. All right. And record. Now. Ready, surprise me, and go. Surprise! Surprise! Yes, now, uh, as if you were unaware that you were at a surprise party, but everyone else is yelling it, so you, you need to as well, and... Uh, surprise! Surprise! Once more, but this time you think you should have brought a gift, but all you brought was a card. Ooh. Now, go. Surprise! Surprise! Yeah, now one last time, but let's do a silly one. Surprise! Yeah. Su -su 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 Surprise! Yeah. Wunderbar. Now, how about all of you out there? 
Perfect! Yeah! Yeah! Hey. Wunderbar! Hey, glad we could help, Hans. Um, yeah? Any idea when we'll be able to hear this? Right now. What? Surprise! Yeah. Now that feels like a party I would love to attend. Same here. Hey, thank you so much, Hans. Hey, do you want to stick around for the Bible story? Of course! Seeing my friend Kellen would bring me so much delight. Well, then you know what that means. It's Bible story time with Kellen! Hey, fellas. Oh, what's up, Hans? Kellen, the joy it brings me to see your face is indescribable with words alone. The only way I can describe it is with the sound. <laughs> hey, what are we getting into today, Kellen? Well, today we're telling the story of what happened after Jesus ascended to heaven. And actually, Hans, as an expert on sound, do you think you could give us a hand with some of your sound jars? Nothing would give me greater pleasure. Great. So remember, Jesus died, and then in three days, he came back to life. He then spent 40 days with his friends and followers before he was taken back to heaven right before their eyes. But before Jesus left, he told his followers to wait for the gift God promised to send them. That gift was the Holy Spirit. Now, the people who believed in Jesus were all in Jerusalem for a day we call Pentecost. They were all gathered in the same room when suddenly the sound of a huge gust of wind filled the space. It sounded like a storm, but everything was calm outside. Then, in the room around them, they saw what appeared to be tongues of fire. What was that? Ah, did you say tongues of fire? Yes. This is a uh, tongue on fire. <coughs> yeah, uh, here we are. Tongues of fire. Ah. <laughs> Continue. Thanks. The tongues of fire separated and came to rest on the people in the room. All the believers were filled with the Holy Spirit. <gasps> They began to speak in languages they had not known before. The Spirit gave them the ability to know how to do this. And stop. This wasn't something that just the people in the room experienced. Jewish people from all over the world were in Jerusalem for Pentecost, and they overheard what was happening. To some, it sounded like nonsense. These people aren't even making sense. But people from other nations were amazed. They knew the believers in Jesus weren't from their part of the world, and yet they could hear them speaking in their own language. The believers needed someone to speak for them. So Peter, one of Jesus' disciples, stepped up to talk to everyone. Everyone listen, we have seen Jesus do miracles through God's power, and though he was put to death, God raised him from the dead. So be sure of this, God has made Jesus both Lord and Messiah. The crowd was deeply affected by this. The people wanted to know what they should do, so Peter gave them very simple instructions. All of you must turn away from your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then your sins will be forgiven. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Oh. Oh. Sorry. That day, 3,000 people became believers in Jesus and they were baptized. A group of Jesus followers were given the task to tell the whole world about him. On their own, this would have been impossible. They needed help, so God sent the Holy Spirit. When you put your trust in Jesus, the Holy Spirit is with you too, helping you in all kinds of ways. Thanks, Hans. It's a pleasure for us all mine. Yeah, thanks, Kellen, great stuff. Yeah, you really killed it today, Hans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm an expert at sound. Mm -hmm. My collection is quite voluminous. Here, in fact, is a perfect example. 
Query disclosures. Reveal the question. Oh, wow. Wow, how specific. <laughs> Today's question is, when have you needed help? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, Hans, how about you? Yeah. Well, this morning, I was trekking through the Amazon, attempting to capture the call of the subcontinental wind viper. It's a very elusive snake. I required a local guide to aid me. Now, after a few hours of trekking through the trees, on the shrubs, on the Amazon, we found the viper. Mm. Now, he was instrumental in making sure I accomplished my mission. So yeah, that or homework and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you should never be afraid to ask for help. And when others ask, you should help them. Just like the both of you did for me. Oh. Yeah. And like you did for me. And like I did for Kellen. Yeah, and like <laughs> we'll all try to do next week. Yeah, and yeah. the week after. Yeah. And so on. Until then, I'm John. I'm Brandon. And I am Hans. And this was... <laughs> Goodbye. Like you're on a roller coaster. Surprise! Are you going down a hill on the roller coaster? Surprise! Oh God, you... Now Brandon realizes John has a spider on his shoulder. Surprise! 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 You turned on the baseball game, but instead you found the World Cup. <sighs> surprise. Now you're trying to fold a fitted sheet. Uh, surprise? Surprise! Yeah, surprise. You're trying to make a table out of toilet paper. Uh, oh. Surprise! Now you're on a soap opera and you are revealing an old betrayal from 30 years ago. Surprise. Surprise. <laughs>